Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, December the 27th. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. Psalm 145, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Every day I bless you, and I praise your name forever and ever. Great are you, my God, and greatly to be praised, and your glory is awesome. One generation shall tell your works to the next, and declare your mighty deeds. I speak of the glorious honor of your majesty, and of your wondrous works. And peoples shall speak of your terrible acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall publish the memory of your great goodness, and shall sing of your righteousness. You are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great loving kindness. You are good to all, and your tender mercies are over all your works. All your works shall praise you, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign, and talk of your power, to make known to the people your mighty acts and the glory of your strength. Your dominion is an everlasting dominion, and your strength endures from one generation to the next. You uphold all that fall and raise all that are bowed down. The eyes of the people wait upon you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, and you sate the desires of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and holy in all your works. You are close to all that call upon you, to all that call upon you in truth. You will fulfill the desires of those who fear you. You hear their cry and save them. You preserve all who love you, but all the wicked will you destroy. My mouth shall speak your praise. Let all flesh bless your holy name forever and ever. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of John, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Faith conquers the world. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the only one. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning the Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Here ends the lesson.
Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O beloved God, you are the glory of your people. Hear these, our humble prayers. Preserve us from the wicked. Forgive us and lift us up if we should fall. Give us our daily bread and grant us our heart's desires. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia and Merry Christmas.